Jim Ross here. And on behalf of me and Jerry the King Lawler, we welcome you to Raw Action live from Chicago. The Raw superstars are gonna blow the Windy City away tonight. I can't wait. Neither can I, King, and I know these fans can't either. So let's get started. Ugh. Randy Orton is a genius, JR. As soon as he got what he needed from Triple H and Ric Flair, he turned on him and struck out on his own. I think you've got a selective memory there, Kingfish. I seem to remember Triple H and Ric Flair turning on Orton and knocking some of the cockiness out of him when they did it. Well, if that's true, it's just a matter of jealousy. And I think that's pretty sad, coming from two men who have more than 25 world title reigns between them. The game and Flair are no strangers to championship gold but Orton won it younger than either one of them. And don't think he didn't let it go straight to his head either. You always see the worst in people, JR. Why shouldn't Orton be proud of being the youngest world champion in WWE history? He reversed it. So how do you think this one's gonna turn out, JR? Honestly, King, I have absolutely no idea. Anything can happen here in the WWE. But you've got to have a guess, right? I might, but I'd rather keep it to myself if it's all the same to you, King. It's oh. like he read his opponent's mind. Looks like he's trying for a pin here. Ugh. these superstars have any intention of taking it easy on each other tonight. That's not what they signed up for, King. And quite frankly, I think these fans would be disappointed if they didn't go all out. Well, that's easy for the fans to say. They never set foot inside that ring. No, but they spend their hard-earned dollars to watch what goes on inside it. And without them, we'd all be out of a job. This is Raw action at its finest. That's why Raw is the number one brand of sports entertainment. You got that right, JR. You're not gonna see this kind of action on SmackDown. Not on SmackDown or anywhere else. There's nothing else out there that can come close to the excitement. The quickest way to lose a match is to underestimate your opponent. I don't think he's underestimating anyone, King. I think he's making it clear that he refuses to be intimidated. Look at this! Look at this! You talk about a house of fire, you're seeing it right here! Yeah? Well, somebody better put out that fire, or this one's not gonna end well. I think these superstars are getting some feedback from the crowd, JR. Nothing wrong with that, King. That's what we like to hear. Oh, boy. This is getting nasty, JR. That's for sure, King. These superstars will stop at nothing to obliterate each other right here tonight. He saw that one coming. Good three. Even when it's covered, being driven head first into that turnbuckle isn't a very pleasant experience. Yeah, and this one isn't covered, JR. That steel is exposed, and it's doing a number on this superstar. If any superstar shows the slightest hint of weakness, Rope they've break. lost the match. That's for sure. No matter how beat up you are, you can't ever let your opponent know the extent of your injury. And that's easier said than done, JR. The human body can only absorb so much punishment. Oh, man, I think we're about to see a high-risk move here. He might be thinking of one of his favorite tunes. No, sweet chin music. I don't believe it. And here's the pin. One, two, three. How can Sean... Here's your...
your winner, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. <laughs>